From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday, October 20th, 2015. I'm Mike Fussell sitting in for J.R. Lewis. In the news, an Alaska suicide prevention activist is hoping a man's very public suicide at Alaska Native Conference will propel people to reach out to others who may be hurting. Barbara Franks has worked to help others since her son took his own life nearly 18 years ago. She says it may never be known what led a man to jump three floors to his death Saturday inside the Denina Convention Center at the close of the Alaska Federation of Natives Conference. His death comes as Alaska Natives grapple with disproportionately high rates of suicide. And the state legislature will start its third special session of 2015 Saturday in Juneau. Governor Bill Walker is calling lawmakers back to discuss a proposed natural gas pipeline. Walker spokeswoman Katie Marquette said bills will be released before the start of the session. The project is the latest iteration of a gas line that's been seen as a way to shore up revenues in a state heavily reliant on oil. And there was quite a bit of excitement Saturday afternoon at the Fairbanks International Airport as local veterans of the Korean War reunited home, returned home that is, after an honor flight. The trip rewards veterans of past wars with a chance to see the sights of our nation's capital. The vets were greeted by a number of local military related organizations. The next honor flight is scheduled for late April of next year and will give some Vietnam vets a chance to see the memorial built to honor their service. And a quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today it'll be partly cloudy with temperatures at 38 degrees. Tonight the weather stays the same but the temperatures drop to 20. But tomorrow will be back up to 35 degrees. The extended forecast is mostly cloudy over the next few days with highs in the low to mid 30s. All right, and that's about all we have for right now. But we do want to remind you that the winter weather advisory for Fairbanks has been lifted, um, but it is still in effect for Delta until about 10 o'clock a.m. this morning. So stay safe if you're in Delta. All right, we're glad you could join us. And don't forget to sign up for our breaking news text alerts. Just text the word breaking to 33733 to subscribe. From all of us here at the News Center, I'm Mike Fussell. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.